What's going on, peoples? What's going on, peoples? Just waiting for my guests to come in. What's going on, coach? What's going on? Hey, what's going on, Porsche? Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? Yep, I can, can you hear me? It. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Thank you for thank you for uh, you know stopping by Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. Yes, thank you for having me. Man, I appreciate your time. But before we get started, mm -hmm. you know this episode is powered by Poddex. Poddex is some unique interview cards. To get your Poddex, go to www.poddex.com. And use my code SIMPLY23 to get 10% off. All right? That's what's up. Shout out to Poddex. <laughs> I appreciate that. So how you been doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm really good. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine, man. And like yeah. I said, man, I want to take this time to thank you for coming on the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. But before we get this, get this started, you know I got to kick off my intro. Okay. So we're going to kick this intro off, and then we're going to dive right into it. Sounds good. All right. Yo, welcome to the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. This is your boy, KSAP, the man behind the mic. We got a special guest today, um, Portia Bunch Hall. What I do here on the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast, normally I'll introduce you, but I want you to introduce yourself and tell the people, you know, who you are and where they can find you. Okay. What's up, everybody? My name is Portia Bunch Hall. Um, I am an actress, model, singer, rapper, media personality, producer. I, I try to do it all. Um, Y'all can find me at Portia PBH. That's Portia PBH, like peanut butter, honey. Y'all can find <laughs> me on, on all platforms. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's a great introduction. Well, we're going to dive right into it. Okay. Um, I've been doing a lot of research. I've been following your movement. I done clicked on you. Um, um, you're doing it big right now. Um, Thank you. I see you, you know, recently was in Houston, or you might be still in Houston doing something with, with some music. I see you got some new music jumping off. Yes. So how long have you been in the music industry? Um, so I'm going to give you a little background. Professionally, okay. I've been in the music industry. Um, I dropped my first single back in 2014, and that was Cherish. It was funny. I had somebody comment today, and it was like, I still got Cherish and rota Rotation. I'm like, that is so dope, you know, because it was my first record. I didn't know what I was doing. And, um, you know, so that was really good. That made me feel good, you know, to hear that. But, um, but I've been singing for a long time. Um, since I was a kid, I grew up in a church. So I tell, I like to tell people that because it's a part of me, you know, it's my foundation. So grew up in the church and I, um, always sang in the choir, sang on the praise team, but I did my first rap record. This was 2020. Okay. And that's right. gutter. And that is, uh, it's actually in the movie gutter mommies. So that was the first time that I actually started, you know, spinning or flowing. Man, hey, that song, that that gutter gutter, I'm yep. rocking with that, Thank and it, it is kind, 
it's kind of crazy because, you know, a lot of female artists, they sing, but you put that little twist on and do that rap in there. So yeah. as we're talking about this gutter gutter, you got a film out called Gutter Mammies. What was the concept behind that film and how did you get that role? So Gutter Mommies was um, written by Entice Williams, directed by Arthur Muhammad. I got a call from Arthur and he said, I got this movie and but I need you to be real gutter. And I'm like, okay, you know, I can do that, no problem. But what you mean? He's like, man, let, let me send you the script, sent the script over, I read it and I was like, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but like my character, I play a character by the name of Shanette and she is very, she's very ruthless, she's cutthroat, she's gutter, you know? And so as I was reading the script though, it just kind of blew my mind because I'm like, golly, this girl is ruthless. Like y'all want me to do what, you know? So, but I had to tap into a dark side and, you know, figure it out and, and it worked out well because I think it came out very well. And you never know how it's going to be, you know, when you're actually filming. All you can do is just go there and then hope it comes out on the camera, you know, the way it's supposed to look. So. Yeah, I, I, ch I checked. I got, I got some clips of it. I, you know, I posted a couple clips. Yes. And let me ask you, there was one scene that you had to, you had to pop a cap. How comfortable were you doing that? <laughs> First of all, I had to go learn how to, to carry a gun. First of all, okay. <laughs> that's not, you know, something I do on a daily basis. So I had to learn how to do that, um, how to hold a gun. And, uh, you know, that particular scene that you're referring to, I actually, um, it was a couple of them, actually. But there was a part I had to shoot my best friend. Ooh. And, you know, and, and I've said this before, my best friend in my real life, like, she's like my sister. You know, okay. so to so imagine, you know, when you have to you got to turn on somebody. I was watching um, New Jack City the, the other day and, you know, okay. you know, you know, he had to shoot a boy like his best oh, friend, yeah. you know, it was kind of like, man, I got to take you out. And so um, it was just I had to mentally go there. How I prepared for it was just diving into a very dark side you know because a lot of people are like well you know you can be hood and you can cuss and like people are like i didn't know you could cuss like that <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> um but you know i i did i had to really go to a dark side to to kill somebody like how many killers do you know man do you ride with killers I don't ride with killers. I don't <laughs> think unless they doing it when I'm not around, but I ain't never been a part of it. <laughs> yeah, so I, I when I was looking at it, I was like, wow, you you know, you go from singing and modeling and then you take a roll <laughs> on and then you had like you said, you had to dive deep and go into a dark side mm -hmm. and become like that hood shit. Yeah. And you know, some scenes in there it, it looks like, you know, you trying to go secure the bag and, you right. know, somebody trying to run up on you. And I was like, did she just pop a cap? Right. And when I saw it, I was like, man. So who inspired you to become an actress? You know, I've always wanted to act since I was a kid, like a, a small kid. I used to do like school plays, you know, um, church plays. So it's something that I always enjoyed doing. It just, it came very natural to me, you know? Um, but inspiration, when I was a child, my favorite actress, and you probably don't even know who she is, her name is Sally Fields. She's a white actress, and she okay. played in Still Magnolias with Julia Roberts. Oh, yes. Yeah. And so she, she, I wouldn't say she inspired me, you know, but she was one that I was like, golly, how can she go from this side to this side? Like, it was so extreme, her range, you know what I'm saying? And I just thought that was just really dope. But as I, you know, started to develop in the acting world, I mean, I really look up to Taraji P. Henson. I love to watch her, you know, um, and I, I've said this before, I'm often referred to as cookie, like, because, you know, she says some <laughs> off the wall things sometimes, and, and I do the same thing from time to time. But yeah, um, I, I really like to watch her just because she's so, she can be really hood, and she can be a boss, you know, all at the same time. And then she can also, she shows a very vulnerable side. Remember when she was in Tyler Perry's Acrimony? Yes. You know, she was just a I like that movie. Exactly. You know, so I think it's important as an actress or actor to be able to show range, you know, like, can you be a killer and can you cry? 
You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it ain't always that's, that's just the, the cute. That's a good stuff. twist to that. That's a good twist because you got you know, you're versatile. You know, like you say, model, you sing, you rap, you act. Now, when it comes to the singing, um, you sing, but what made you start rapping? <laughs> uh, I would have to say as an entertainer, I feel like I've always enjoyed just being creative, okay? Um, rapping to me is like freedom. You know what I mean? It's like you can just kind of flow the way you want to flow. You can switch it up. Um, it's just, it's, it's a free way of, of expressing yourself, I feel like. Whenever I sing, I have to concentrate. You know, like okay. I have to be like, you know, I got to make sure the notes is right and it's got to be, you know, it's got to flow smoothly. Um, I tell people all the time, like, I can't drink before I sing because I got to concentrate. Like, I need to oh. go. <laughs> okay. But, you know, with rapping, I feel like it's just so, you can be so expressive with it and it just, it can just flow just so easily. Man, that's great. I mean, it's, it's, it's great that you're doing your thing and in your bio, you're originally from Oklahoma. Yeah. How did you get to Dallas, Texas? I feel like, honestly, that's like the, it's okay. So a lot of Oklahomans go to Dallas, you know, okay. it's just, it's the next biggest city or closest city, I should say. And so, you know, when Oklahoma is, is, is pretty small, you know, and so most people they do, you know, I finished school and I, I left and, and I was like, Dallas is the spot. And so, and I've been here ever since. I'm not going to tell you how long that is, but I've been here ever since. <laughs> and um, I mean, Dallas just, honestly, Dallas is like really very progressive. It's booming. You know, it's um, it's a lot of talent in Dallas. And as you can yep. see from Gutter Mommies, you know, we were all based out of Dallas. And so that's just, um, I feel like nobody can really sleep on Dallas. You, you can't, don't, don't sleep on Dallas. Hey, hey, I live here in Dallas. I'm not sleeping on Dallas. I know the talent that's here in Dallas. So, right. you know, that's that's a sh salute to Dallas. And, you know, it's a lot of things that people might not know about you, but we're going to dive deep. Okay. okay. Now, there's a lot of films that you have starred in. I mean, you've been on tour with Shelly Garrett, yeah. and it's some major plays that you started. in. What is one of your most, you know, m memorable plays that you starred in? memorable um you're right i mean i i have done um a lot of work and and you start to forget about it over the years and that's a good thing because it's like i mean i'm working you know what i mean you know Busy. like i can remember doing um a tv show born again virgin with the rb singer tank you know um and even marcel that was that was cool um i can remember having um you know a, a recurring feature on saints and sinners you know that was with um uh, with um clifton powell you know, yes. um, it's so it's like over time, you know, it's just like you just I'm just blessed. You know what I'm saying? And um, I've done a lot of plays. I've worked with Willie Taylor from day 26. Um, I've worked with, um, you know, Tyler Perry's uh, Tony Grant, Palmer Williams. Probably my favorite, though, experience has definitely been what you mentioned, Shelly Garrett's Beauty Shop. Yes. So Beauty Shop is, was around for what? It toured for like 30 years, you know. And so Shelly Garrett, a lot of people don't know this, he was the original founder of Urban Stage Plays. He was the one before Tyler Perry. Yeah. Tyler Perry even shouts him out and was like, I used to go to his plays and sit in the back and take notes. You know what I'm saying? So the opportunity to um, tour with him, he he's just, he's he was a, he was a legend, you know, um, you know, rest in peace, Shelly Garrett. But yeah, I mean, he was just a legend. So that was a, a, a beautiful experience. He taught me a lot, a lot. And that, that's great. That's a great experience. So let me ask you this. So when did you get your first big break? How did you break onto the scene where people notar notarize what Porsche Bunch Hall could do? Big break. Let me see. I'm still waiting on that big break. <laughs> I, I don't feel like I've had it yet. It's, okay. it's not here. It's not that's here. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. So any major projects that you're working on right now? I see that, like I said, when we started the show off, you got some new music coming. Let the people know that's watching 
where they can find your music and listen to you. And also, just throw a plug in for your, your gutter mammies where they can go stream and watch that as well. Yeah, yeah. So I do have new music coming out. Um, it's it's a, a different flavor. I was feeling a little spicy and sexy at the same time. So okay. um, it's, I'm getting ready to drop that. Um, but y'all can find my music usually on my website. It's at PortiaBunchHall.com. Um, and so it would be streaming there and then like my YouTube channel. But I mean, my name is um, consistent throughout Portia Bunch Hall. Like, you know, whenever you're looking for my stuff. Um, and Better Mommies is actually streaming on Tubi, uh, Amazon Prime, uh, Fandango, and Voodoo. Um, I think it's, um, it's on a few other things. It's, it's, you know, if you Google it, you can definitely find it there. But yeah, y'all definitely go check it out. But I have another movie coming out in 2021. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, we ain't gonna we 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 don't want to tell them too much, but just give them a little, just give them a little snippet or just a brief synopsis of what it's about. Okay, so it's called Stepdad. Stepdad, the movie. Um, it's basically it's a romantic comedy, and I play um the mother in 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 the uh in 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 the film. Um, and so we have a surprise that kind of happens, and it kind of shakes things up with the stepdad. And so oh. so. It's a lot of fun. It's it's a completely different opposite than, you know, uh, gutter mommies. I'm not, you know, busting no caps to nobody. <laughs> <like that. laughs> so so you had to channel your sexy side back, huh? Well, you know what? Honestly, because it's a romantic comedy, I'm really goofy in it. Like, and most of us are. And you're going to see a different side. You know, I, I often say, like, I'm, I'm really goofy, like, all the time. And so... Um, you know, it, <laughs> that's all I can say about that. Just that's just, all you can I, say about that. Yeah, well, just, we don't want to give them too much. Out. Yeah. You know, I want y'all so, to check that out for sure. Because, like I said, it's a different side of me that most people don't see. Like it's it's real goofy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See, a lot of people in the comments saying, "Hey, I love gutter mommy." So somebody has watched that before. Oh, a lot of people cool. looking forward to your 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 new movie. A lot of people said they listen to your music. So you gotta. You got a lot of fan. You got man. You got a major fan base right now. I, you got almost. You almost pushing what a hundred k on Instagram. I mean, for all the people that's out that where you started from. Yeah. How did you gain your fan base? Um, you do a lot of networking. That and being consistent. You know, a lot of people like start their pages and then they disappear or you know what I mean and then adding content you know build yourself as you are you know building your followers build, give them something that they want to come look at or want to come do you know don't just stay stagnant because who's going to want to follow that you know what I'm saying so I mean basically that's how I built my followers just being consistent and constantly giving them some new stuff like you know I you you may not know this, but I have a makeup line also. I have a lipstick line. So I'm getting ready to launch some new things for that, and that's going to be for the ladies. Um, okay. So, yeah, so I'm excited about that, too. But, yeah, just continue to add to your brand. Make it be something, you know? Man, that's, that's, that's great advice. That's great advice. And uh, I did see the lipstick line on your website when I was doing the research. So kudos to that. You know, Thank shout you. outs for that. And I know through this pandemic, you know, we're in a – you know, crazy state right now, but how has this pandemic slowed your movement down or has it slowed your movement down? Well, it's definitely slowed it down. You know, um, like it's, first of all, the makeup, you know, because I have a lipstick line. So everybody was wearing masks. Nobody was buying lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to think outside of the box and try to figure this out, you know, give them something else that they can, you know, get. But, um, yeah, it, it slowed it down just a little bit. Um, but one thing I have said before is um, acting, we don't require an audience like um, music does. You know, okay. like in order to do music and go get your money on the road and do shows, you need an audience. Well, you know, obviously we can't gather together right now like that. So um, acting has definitely been, you know, something that's kept me moving and kept me busy. So I'm excited about that and thankful for that, you know, that people yes. even keep ringing my phone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there have been times when the phone didn't ring. You know? <laughs> you know? So I'm like, hello, I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> man, man, that's great. That's great that through this pandemic, you're able to keep moving and, and, and provide for your family and things like that. And, and another thing is, you know, since you are 
an actress, right? Who would be that one person you would love to work with or have you already worked with them? As an actress, um, I would love to work with Taraji. Like, <laughs> you know, like, I just, yeah, I feel like I can learn so much from her. Um, I would definitely, I would love to to do some work with her. Shout out to Raji. Um, if somebody, can somebody please tell her? <laughs> we got you. Simply yeah. Ball Drop has got you covered. We'll, we'll, we'll make that happen. We'll, we'll, go, we'll push that yeah. plug. I'll go be her little sister on something. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and since you said to Raji P. Henson, now I can see, I can see why you said a lot of people say you got that vibe like her because like you said in that movie, Acrimony, and then looking at Gutter Mammies, on how you flip the strip, right? And you had to pop a cap. So I could see them similarities right there. So, man, that would that would be great to see if y'all could team up and, and, and give us something, you know, give the people what they want. Right. So, you know, as far as that, you know, is there any other major things you have in store? Um, yeah, I mean, just the movies, you know, I got that those coming out and um, the, um, the music, uh, lipstick line, you know, I mean... That's pretty much it. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, but that's great, though. I mean, like you said, you're staying busy. And like I said, you was, you're was you recently at a music fest in Houston. Is that true? Right. Right. Okay. So what, what does that entail? What kind of what? Uh, you're partnering up with somebody? You're networking? What is all going on in Houston? Yeah. So in Houston, it was the Loud Fest. Shout out to the Loud Fest. Um, and so they basically had an event for it's a, a huge festival for ind independent artists and you know that's what the, there's more independent artists now than it as you know that it is actually you know sign artists and so um it was just it was a great opportunity you know go down there you network you get to showcase your music hear other people's music vibe with people and you know, it creates great opportunities. Like I had a lot of people approach me who want to write for me or who want to, you know, they need me to be on something, features, things of that sort. So that's how you make things happen, kind of just getting in the mix, you know, and, and letting it be known like, hey, I'm out here. You know, like you can't get nothing done sitting at the house. That's what I'm saying. You have to continue to build your brand, you know, for those who are really trying to figure it out um, and how to get to where they're trying to be. Like you got to just keep pushing it out and being consistent. Just don't give up. Don't stop. Man, that's, that's great advice. And I got a lot of people coming in the comments talking about peanut butter and honey. Yeah. Give the people <laughs> what they want. So for, they they asking, you got to give the people what they want. And here on the Simply Ball Dropping, we like to do this. We like to get some fun facts about our guests. Okay. So give me three fun facts about yourself. Three fun facts. Um... I like to wear mismatched socks. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see, a fun fact. Like I said, I'm real goofy. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, a fun, I don't know. Give me some examples of like. Well, what do you like to do outside of singing, modeling, and acting? What do you like to do? Traveling. Traveling? Yeah, traveling. And um, I, I mean, I catch a plane often. It's just... Well, hey, I, I, and it's funny that you said that because when I when we started following each other on Instagram, uh -huh. I went back and looked. I'm like, man, she is all over the place. Yeah. And then some of your stories, like, you could be at two places at one time. I'm like, she is all over the place. And you do a lot of networking, and that's a good thing. Yeah. So, like, traveling... Where are some of the places that you've been and you like to go? Well, my favorite city is Miami and New Orleans. And I love New Orleans. And I see, what's up, Dion? One of my friends. So um, one thing I love about New Orleans is the food, okay? okay. So I love to eat. So <laughs> she's saying eat. <laughs> so that's a fun <laughs> thing. You don't realize that. I'm not just salad girl, okay? So, okay. you know, if, if you like want to get me a meal or send me something like mm -mm. I need like some steak I like surf and turf I eat you know crawfish and I, I often post my food all the time so I'm a foodie for sure um but yeah I mean probably it would be Miami and New Orleans in the states that's that's where I really enjoy but you know um I love Jamaica um oh Jamaica. wow yeah have you have you been to Jamaica yes yes oh yeah. wow 
and I've been to Hawaii and Hawaii is gorgeous and you know so just I almost want to I don't know if you heard about it they're offering people to uh, fly to Hawaii for free and work from home because they're trying to increase their tourist uh, you know numbers over there so they're like okay. we'll give you a free ticket to go over to Hawaii and just work from home and um, so I'm like hmm <laughs> Hey, just that, that's a that. good thing. Yeah. So, so are you, there you go. So are you thinking about, you know, taking them up on that and going to Hawaii? I don't know. Y'all y'all see, y'all just keep following me. Y'all look up and y'all say I'll be somewhere um, on the beach somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Now, you know, a lot of people are asking me um, about the family life. Are you married, kids? The people want to know. I'm married to myself, honey. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm married to what what it takes to get it done. Okay, that's that's a that's a great answer and a safe answer. So, do you have any children? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you when you was growing up, did you play any sports or anything like that, or you was always in the modeling, singing, and all that? Yeah, no, I played sports. I ran track. Oh, okay. And, um, I played softball. I played third base. So I was um you know, it, it, it interfield. And so um, let me think some other stuff. Now, I can't play basketball. Like, it's something about court. I know. I don't know how. I can't even dribble. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're being honest. Yeah, I'm not that girl. I can't do that. Now, I might be able to play some horse with you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't no real game of basketball going on, okay? <laughs> Wow, hey, I find that hard to believe that you can't dribble a basketball. Well, why? Because I look coordinated. Like I'm, I'm off just a smidgen. Like, <laughs> oh, you, you, just a little bit like that, a little bit yeah, like that. My, yeah, coordination. I had to concentrate real hard. Okay. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I mean, but do you, you watch? I know, I know, you have to watch sports. Do you watch sports? I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. I definitely do you, what, enjoy sports. Watch. Basketball, football, who's who's your teams? I love football. So I'm a y'all gonna hate me for this. Not you maybe, but I'm a Dallas Cowboys <laughs> fan, okay? So you know Now I can't I, ride with the Cowboys. I got a lot of Cowboy people in the comments, but hey, you know, they'll let you get away with it. You know, I'll let you get away with it because you're on my show. So we we're not gonna knock you. But you know, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and then um, as far as basketball, you know, I'm more of like a a, a player fan. You know, so LeBron I, James, right? I love LeBron. Yeah. You, hey, me and you get along, LeBron yeah. James. That's my dude right there. So that's all good. So it was funny. I, I looked at your story the other day, and I saw you was eating crawfish, man. And, and my wife, she loves crawfish. She's addicted to them crawfish. And I showed her. I was like, look. She's eating crawfish. She was like, oh, my God. So I yeah. go back and look at a few more, and I see you eating crawfish all the time. All the time. So I'm going to tell you that story. When I first learned how to eat crawfish, it was probably maybe about eight years ago. I went to New Orleans for the first time, and I okay. went to the Essence Music Fest. And so got down there, I met around some people, and they were like, we eat crawfish now. And I'm like, I had never, I'm from Oklahoma, you know, and not to say that they don't have crawfish, but it just wasn't, you know, that just wasn't what we do in Oklahoma. Yes. And so anyhow, I learned how to eat it. I have been addicted since then. Like I literally have to eat crawfish like two times a week. And when it's, when it's not in season, like I'll be like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> it's like My wife acts the same way. And it's kind of funny because I'm originally from Frederick, Maryland. So I've been down in Texas since 1998, and we, we eat blue crabs. Um, and when I got down to Texas and was introduced, you know, to my wife's um, grandparents down in Orange, Texas, mm -hmm. that was my first time I ever had a taste of crawfish. And once I got my hands on it, I was like, oh, man, this got to do because I can't get my hand on no crabs. So this has to do. So once I started eating them, I started doing my own boils. I started, you know, doing them myself. So yeah. You know, we do a lot of crawfish boils because my wife, she's she's addicted to that stuff. So oh, you got to yeah. keep her happy with them crawfish. I need an invite, for real. Hey, <laughs> we got you. We got you because I do the I, we do the boils all the time. So it's like, man, I got my 80, 
gallon bucket, man. Throw them crawfish in there, do that seafood ball, and yeah, buy them some tasty stuff. You'll be impressed. And they, hey, look, I tell you, Portia, they better than Nate's. They better than Nate's. <laughs> I got my own. I got my own song. I got my own little mix up. So I, I, I get it cracking. So when that crawfish, Wait a minute. Comes in, Wait I, I'm, a I'm gonna look you up. I'm gonna okay. look you up. I don't believe it. They can't be hey, better than Nate's. I'm gonna look you up. So when I have this crawfish boy, I'm gonna give you the invite. I just want you to taste it. You be like, okay, yeah, okay. I got, I got Nate. A lot of people around here in the Texas area tell you, I got Nate. Okay, okay, I got it. We got I got him. So, you know that, that that's one thing. So it's it's good that. But before we wrap it up, is there anything else that you would like to tell the people that's watching and listening? Um, yes, actually, um, this is for the ladies uh, and, you know, for the men. So I am a brand ambassador for, um, Kenny's Luxury Hair and it's great hair. So y'all go to my page. <laughs> I want to give Don't a shout out to them. Give a shout out to them because, um, they, they treated me very well. Great company and, um, they have great hair. You know, I don't like wearing no cheap stuff. So, um, y'all go, go to my page, go find, uh, Kenny's Luxury Hair, but, other than that, y'all, y'all just keep rocking with me. Keep supporting me. Like, I love people, and I love my fans. Like, I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I often say, like, I'm so unbothered. I got a great credit score, and I love everybody. That's what I say. There you go. There you go. <laughs> one, 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 one of, one of the um, people that's tuned in, they want to know, they want to see if you can tell the young people out here that are trying to be inspired actresses, what are some tips for folks wanting to get into acting? Yeah, so that is a great question because it's really a lot easier than you think. You have to get into the network. I mean, and that's really with anything. You know what I'm saying? You need to um, surround yourself with other people who are doing it as well as, you know, on social media. Follow these groups. Follow these castings. Just hashtag casting. You know what I mean? And a lot of stuff will pop up for you. And then go for it. Um, you know, you might need to go get some training. They have schools for that, you know. Um, or if you just have a very natural talent, go for it. The more auditions that you go on, the better. It's just like interviewing. You know what I'm saying? The more you have, you know, it's, it's going to make you better. And then the more projects you do, like, I mean, I've definitely grown as an actress from the first time I did uh, a production till now, you know. So it's just you got to stay in stay in. You know, I tell people all the time, once you get your foot in the door, don't take it out, you know. Man, that's, that's, that's great tips, man. And, and one of my followers are saying that's great inspiration to young ladies especially the young sisters so i appreciate that and I, I think everybody in the comments they appreciate you coming on man everybody said we're gonna start rocking with her everybody's showing the hearts everybody's showing the love so like i said i always you know want to you know take the time out to thank my guests that come on to simply ball dropping on uh, podcast and you know what i would like to do for my guests you know since you rocking with me I'm, 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 I'm going to get you some of my merch out. So a lot of people that's in the comments, I do have my own merch. It's Simply Ball Dropping. Simply Ball Dropping Podcast. You see it? I got mugs. I got face masks. I got a website. So you can go to www.simplyballdropping.com. But simply is without the G. It's just the N on it. So you can go cop my merch. Um, if you'd like to be a guest on the Simply Ball Dropping Podcast, my information's you know, in my bio, you can email me at ksap at simplyballdropping.com. And, and that's how we like to do in the Simply Ball Drop podcast, you know. My casa, su casa, you casa. And what I like to tell people is, I drop the ball, you drop the ball, we drop the ball together. That's Simply Ball Dropping. So at this time, we're going to wrap it up. And I do want to thank my guest one more time, Miss Portia Bunch Hall. Y'all go follow her. She's a model, she's a singer, and she's an actress. And she's given some inspiration, and she's given some facts out to you people. So y'all take the knowledge, take heed to what she said, and keep it going. So I appreciate your time, and this is going to wrap up another episode of Simply Ball Drop Podcast. And we'll catch you on the next one. Deuces. Thank you. Thank you, Porsche. Bye. All right. <laughs>